Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about the third season premiere of The Newsroom. I absolutely love this show, you guys. It's not a show that I probably will do reviews of every week, but I definitely wanted to talk a little bit about this season kickoff. There were a ton of great storylines that really started in this episode, and I can't wait to watch the rest of the season to really kind of see how those things play out. I love Aaron Sorkin, you guys. I just think he's the best. I just think he writes fantastic characters, fantastic dialogue, which is why I really kind of love this show. I also really really love the like energy of it and I really feel like they do such a fantastic job of of kind of portraying like how chaotic a newsroom really is. They do such a great job of pacing on this show where it's like one thing leads into another and you've got one person like coming out of an office into the newsroom and then somebody in the newsroom throws in a comment or has a line and it's just like all kind of works together so well. Probably my favorite storyline so far this season is the one that involves Neil and the classified documents and Neil's in trouble and I kind of like Neil. He's like the dorky guy who runs their Twitter feed and does some other computer things and somebody has chosen to pass him classified government documents and it looks like he might be in trouble as well as he kind of asked for more proof and because he did that it looks like he could also be charged with espionage. So I'm kind of excited to find out about the source but also to find out what's going to happen to Neil. Another thing that happened in this episode that I absolutely loved was the progression of Maggie's character. Obviously last season Maggie spent most of the time like trying to recover from what happened to her in Africa and now she seems to be like on the mend. Um, she ends up in Boston and she ends up on the air when something happens to Elliot. Chicken salad with walnuts. Kind of hilarious. But I loved it, right? I totally wasn't expecting it. So she went on the air and she was fantastic. So I'm guessing that means we're going to see more of that and kind of see her character kind of develop into that. And so I'm kind of excited about that for her. And let's talk about Sloan, right? Because she is seriously one of my favorite characters on this show. And so I loved the whole bit where throughout the episode, you know, she's picking up on these little tidbits that she's getting and she knows some big business deal is getting ready to go down in New York City. And so she's trying to figure out what that is. By the end of the episode, she manages to figure out that there's going to be a hostile takeover at ACN. And I loved it. This show was so good at building that kind of tension and then it's like everything kind of explodes all at once. It seems like this is a bit of a family tiff and so I'm kind of excited to see Jane Fonda's character come back and to see how, you know, she and her son are really gonna deal with that. This is the last season of The Newsroom, which makes me so very sad, but um, I'm kind of excited. Great show, you guys. If you haven't seen it, The Newsroom is on HBO, and you should definitely check it out. It's, it's a fantastic show. It's smart, it's funny, it's heartwarming. It's just everything you could possibly want in a television show. Okay, that's enough for me today, talking about The Newsroom. I will see you guys again soon, bye.